Hey guys, I'm out here. I just got done feeding the, uh, well I shouldn't say just got done. I fed the goats probably about 45 minutes ago, let them eat. Okay, anyways, um, I've already fed the goats about 45 <laughs> minutes ago. They're patiently standing there waiting on me. I have to close off the chicken coop before I can let them out. This has kind of really done some uh, hindering on our egg production <laughs> because I have to keep the pen closed and I haven't figured out a way. From my understanding, goats pretty much, they'll be able to slip into the smallest little hole to be get to get into there so we can't really put in a, a small door for the chickens to go in and lay their eggs and uh, so as of right now all right if you're going in you're gonna have to stay in what are you doing what is underneath your wing? you staying in okay you can stay there I'll come back and hit you out in a little bit anyways they've really it's really reduced our egg production because they can't get in there and lay. I thought maybe they would do it out here in the pen area, but they're not. So when I come out in the morning, I have like one egg, <laughs> two if I'm lucky. So I'm hoping we get this other pen really up relatively quick. Aha, uh -huh, three more, yes. Well, it looks like it would have been four, but one of them broke. Okay. Oh, four more. Okay, it would have been five. And I already got one, so that would have been six. All right, good deal. Fix that all up. I like that. And so you know these little brown areas like this <laughs> their egg box their egg box is clean that's leaves that has gotten in there I mix some um, wood chips and then I have a very large paper shredder and I shred up the paper in there and it's actually worked out really well and it reduces the amount of um, it's kind of a savings to use it and I've used it for a long while and it's actually worked out good we use the um, deep bedding method which works out really well I'll move this around a little bit and I'll probably come back out and add some more shredded paper in there.
you doing, buddy? show you what I did hoping it would maybe remedy the egg situation <laughs> I hung an egg box here and then I hung another egg box over here none of them have even attempted to use them yet they jumped up on them out of curiosity and then they jumped back down and haven't even bothered with them so but anyways, we had a really big storm last night. I hope with all this weather going around right now, I hope everybody's being safe. I know it got really bad, I think up in the Ohio area. A lot of places were affected. Just so sorry for those folks. And our prayers are going out to you. But, um, <laughs> they're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. This last weekend, we went and, um, we did finish off putting the stones down around our pool. If any of you don't, if you're new to the channel, uh, we've had some issues. We had to totally drain our pool. We, <clears throat> because we had the stones that we had there were tilted over. The weight just, um, they were thinner stones and they were smaller stones and they just didn't work out. Anyways, we had to take all those up, put brand new, uh, four inch stones down and we doubled them side by side so hopefully we won't have that issue again right now we're in the process of filling the pool back up and after that I'll get the pump running and start cleaning her up so that's where we're at with that we still have to go down and get more pea gravel <clears throat> river rock I think they call it river rock to lay down into the next to the legs and fill in the rest around around the pool <clears throat> that way it'll help reduce any of the uh, what's the word I'm looking for washing out around the stones so hopefully that'll help but anyways guys I hope you have a wonderful day I'm gonna get back in and um 
I'll see you the next time. Take care.